it's Susan here from Kamori no Hime Cosplay, and today I'm going to be sharing with you my first impressions of working with foam clay. The clay that I'm using is the Lumens Workshop clay. I got mine from the Art of Wigs Canada website during Black Friday. However, since then, it is now available on the Arda US website, and there are some other brands that have their own foam clay versions that I'll be linking in the description box below. I ordered one of the larger buckets of the foam clay, and it hasn't been opened yet because when I got my order, it came with this little tiny trial pack of foam clay, and this is what I ended up using for my aqua armor. And there's quite a bit left, so one of the things that I was pleased to see about the foam clay is that very much a little bit goes a long way, and considering the price point of foam clay was something I was very pleased with. Since the clay is an air dry clay, it does have the potential to dry out, as you can see from this piece that was spread pretty thin and was at the top of the package. Now granted, it's been sitting there since December, so just something to keep in mind is that there is a potential for the clay to dry out. The clay itself is very lightweight and has a smooth, silky feeling to it. When pulled apart, it does have a tendency to be a little string-like, and it doesn't stick to the fingers. Though I should point out is if you have long nails, it does have a tendency to get stuck under the nail. The clay sticks to foam fairly well, and you have a small time period where you can still remove it if you want to change the location. It's fairly easy to smooth down, and the Arda website did mention that you can also use some water on your finger to get it even smoother. And one thing I did find really useful for the foam clay is that if you have foam that has air pockets in it, so it's got those little bubbles, you can use the foam clay in those bubbles to cover them up, and it works quite well. Here's what the foam clay looked like on Aqua's armor. So for the ankle areas where she has this little wing piece that is inserted, I used some of the foam clay to smooth where the two pieces touch, and it worked really well for that. I also used it for filling in gaps in the front of the armor. This didn't work quite as well because I was covering up already lumpy hot glue. It may have worked better if I had taken the time to properly sand it before painting it. Overall, I was pretty pleased with foam clay as a material, and I look forward to using it in other projects. I hope you found this video helpful. For more cosplay tutorial videos, please subscribe, and thank you very much for watching!